Take me out to California. Take me out. Hi everyone, today's video is about why you should surround yourself with beautiful things. Since I started decorating my house, I mean my husband bought this house in 2016, so it's quite a while ago and I, since then I've been doing it up. Now obviously for those of you that follow this channel you'll know that in between that my husband died. Um, he had brain cancer and we were aware that that might be an outcome but obviously that t totally threw everything out. Now in this house we've done big like renovations, that there's been a lot of work done. And when me and my husband bought this house, we decided from the beginning that we would do it exactly how we wanted it. Now, money isn't no object, but we decided that we would make it work. We would just do it the way we wanted it and that we would find the money or we would wait until we could do it exactly how we wanted to do it. And I'm a big believer in law of attraction. So I, you know, what we think about, we bring about. And because I had that in my mind, because that was the goal, that I would create a house that I really love. When we bought this house, I sat in each room and the rooms have even changed, you know, because we've knocked through some rooms and put walls in. Um, I sat in each room and I thought to myself, I don't even know how it's gonna look, but I know how it's gonna feel in each room. Like I know how this room wants to feel. So for me, my bedroom, I wanted, I wanted it to feel um, calm, relaxed, peaceful, white, calm colours because sleep has always been a bit difficult for me and I wanted somewhere that when I went in it felt clean and fresh and calm and so that was, I knew that for that room. So in my office, I knew that I wanted it to feel inspirational and I wanted to, I wanted this kitchen to be a space where I, I could record YouTube videos. So I wanted a lot of light. And I had this feeling, this sort of idea about how I wanted the house to be. And, and I didn't know the specifics, but I remember reading something, one of my favorite, well, the my favorite magazine, not one of, I don't really read many magazines, but Psychology's magazine, they have a section in the back um, where they have like often interiors and home decor and stuff. And I remember somebody saying in there, um, I want my home to be like my vision board. So I've done a video on vision boards and goal boards, which I will link up after this as well, um, if you don't know what that is. But essentially it's you cutting and sticking and drawing things and writing things that make you feel good and things that you maybe want in your life. And this lady described that her home was that, that when she looked around it made her feel good. And I resonated so much with that because I was like, that is it. For me personally, that is my, I want my home to be somewhere where when I look at things, it makes me feel good. I think that's a beautiful thing and I get excited about it. Or it makes me feel, you know, if I see, I like, as those of you that follow me on social media know, I love quotes. That's hard to say my accent. Quotes, quotes, I like a quote. Um, and I like to see inspirational posts and things everywhere. I'm not quite here, there in this house yet because I haven't got pictures and stuff. I haven't done all my pretty in. But that's what I wanted it to feel like. I wanted to look around and feel inspired in my own home. And I'm now at a place where I'm nearly, well, I'm not, you're never done in your home, but I've done most of the work in the house now. And I look around and I'm really this week particularly, because I've just had my garden done. This week particularly, I've really, really felt grateful for my home and for what I've been creating. And I've, I've had a lot of help from people around me, um, people that have, you just really helped me make this happen. So I'm so grateful to those people around me. My, my my family have been amazing, my friends, and even people in the community as well, because I was actually, my front door, my front door, I've got a bright pink front door, and um, it was actually gifted to me by a company called Universal Windows here in Coventry. Um, and it, I love it, I love it. And when I walk in, every time I see it, I feel happy. And that's the thing, isn't it? There's things in my house, like I wanted quartz, which I'll show you in a sec, quartz worktops, um, marble effect, marble look worktops. And yes, they were very expensive and too, probably too expensive, but I really wanted them and so I made it happen. 
and they're amazing and every time I come down and I look at them I'm so grateful for them like I really really appreciate the stuff that I've had done this shiny concrete floor this polished concrete me and Ross wanted this and I look at it every time I come in I come down in the morning and I think I love that floor and that's it I just want to be surrounded by beautiful things and I think it's so important for our soul and it's not about it being expensive like I hope you don't think I'm being a braggart I'm not saying everything in, in the hair is expensive but what I'm saying is I it's maybe taken longer but I've got the things that I've wanted because because that's what I focus on having the things that I wanted in a in a nice way not in an, in an arrogant way at all um and I wanted to look at things in the house and be like, that makes me feel great. Like, I love that thing or that colour or that print or that texture. And I think that's what it's about. I really love it. It doesn't matter what, what your house it is or your, the place that you live, your, whether it's... And I've lived in all flats, houses, um, you know, whether it's a one-bed studio apartment. Whatever you, you have, you can make it feel yours and feel special to you in some way. And I think that's really important to our soul, that our home feels beautiful to us and whatever your version of beauty is you know whatever that thing is that makes you feel good whether you love floral prints everywhere or you like a vintage style or whatever it is whatever your thing is surround yourself in that because it's going to make you feel good and really that's all we're trying to do isn't it just trying to feel good and if we feel good more often than we feel bad then we can deal with the tough stuff that life might throw our way but I've just taken some time this week and that's why I'm sat on the floor genuinely that's why I'm sat on the floor because sometimes I just have to look at it and I especially when you're doing a house project you can get so caught up in the next thing so it's really important to look at it and go done loads like I've come a really long way with this and it feels amazing and it feels I just feel so grateful I feel so grateful that it's happened that I've been able to create a space for me and the girls that we love and even the girls are saying oh mum we love this this is so good and especially because we've just had our garden done so it means we can go outside and before it was like it was really bad um whereas now it's it's just a beautiful and I love it and yeah, so this is a little bit of a pause for me feeling grateful and, and lovely and thankful for the things that I have and those around me that support me and, and help me to be able to do that. And you guys as well, because you support me on my journey and watching my videos and sharing my videos and following and subscribing and, and all that, that helps. You know, that all helps because my life is, is very much, you know, me doing my, whatever thing I'm doing at that time and so I need you guys as well so I'm grateful to you but it's so important to just surround yourself with things that make you feel good whether that's pictures of your family or cool artwork on your walls or just whatever it is your kids pictures all over the fridge just make your space yours really you know work out what you want to feel like in that room and then make it that thing and even if you can't get the exact thing you want straight away work towards it know what you want and then work towards it and that's what I've done here you know I, there's things that I would still love to have and I'll get them but maybe not quite yet and but I'll work towards it I know how I want it to feel and I will get there and in the meantime I'll surround myself with the things that I can get that make me feel amazing and good and I'm going to show you a few little bits in here as well Take me out to cut 